What's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So today we're going to be doing another update to my DIY golf simulator project that I'm working on in my garage. Now for some of you that might not already know, I used to have my golf simulator down in my basement. Now my basement was limited to nine foot ceilings. Now the problem with having my simulator in my basement is because I'm a taller guy. So when I would swing my driver, my driver head would hit the ceiling sometimes. And I didn't like that. So I always had to alter my swing for the driver. But then when I go out onto the course, my swing's completely different out there. And I just wasn't able to keep consistent. So we decided we were gonna finish our basement and we were gonna move the golf simulator to the garage. Now, because I moved the simulator to the garage, my space requirements are now different. Now I have more height in the garage, so I don't have to worry about my swing path or my club hitting the ceiling. But because I have this header box then up here, I'm limited to the size that'll fit in that area over there, which happens to be roughly 10 by 13. So I ended up finding this brand called Elite Screens, and they have a higher end golf impact screen in the 10 by 13 size that I was looking for. So that's what I picked up, and that's what we're gonna be trying out today. Now keep in mind, the 10 by 13 is not a typical 16-9 or 16-10 ratio. So you might have to make a few adjustments to your projector settings or your computer settings to get your resolution adjusted, but not a big deal, we'll make it work. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm currently just using a cheap screen for now, but I really wanted something a little bit better that has better picture quality, that has a little bit of a better impact resistancy to it, and I wanted something a little more premium. So without further ado, let's jump in, let's unbox the Elite Screens 10 by 13 high quality golf impact screen. Okay, so we just got it unboxed and right out of the gate, I can already tell I'm liking this screen. It has a nice, soft, flexible feel to it. And I do like that the grommets look really good so far and they are embedded into the white screen itself. So there's no black border. So what's nice about that is that when you hook it up to your screen, it looks like your screen goes all the way to the outer edges. It's not like you're losing actual viewing screen size because a lot of other impact screens have a black border that they put around the white screen where they install the grommets. And that just takes away from some of your viewing pleasure. Now it does also come with a little package of instructions and information here that goes over the quality of the screen, the thickness of the screen and so forth. There you go there. So there's some specs in case you wanna see any of that. Now this is available in a large roll like this, which is what I chose because I wanted to reduce any chance of wrinkles or you could get it folded up, but just keep in mind, if you do happen to get it folded up, you might have to try to use a steamer to try to get out some of the wrinkles. So let me go ahead and start dismounting the old cheaper screen, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the new screen up using the bungees, and we're gonna test this screen out. So when you open up the screen, there will be a little mark printed that says back side. So there's a front side and there's a back side. So just make sure when you're installing this that you're looking for the marking that says back side. Make sure that's on the back side of your screen. So let me go ahead and keep working on getting this installed and we'll be right back. Okay, we got it all hooked up and we are good to go. Right out of the gate, I noticed that this screen is definitely a high quality screen. It has a nice, thick, flexible fabric, which feels really good and I think is gonna work great. It's very tightly woven. I don't think you can really tell getting up close here. It has a very tight woven screen to it. And again, very flexible. It definitely has a premium feel to it. Another great feature that I noticed right away is how many grommets are on this screen. Now I've had other impact screens in the past, and a lot of times when you buy a cheaper impact screen, you don't get enough grommets. A lot of cheaper screens might only have one grommet, say every two to two and a half feet, which is not enough to really help stretch the fabric and make it look good. This particular screen here, as you can see, has grommets almost every foot all the way around the perimeter. And that's exactly what I'm looking for when I'm shopping for a quality impact screen. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna have a little buckle in the corner here just because my wall has a little bit of a jog in it. So that's normal, that's not the screen's fault. That just happens to be how my garage was designed and I'm trying to work around it. But the rest of the screen, is nice and taut. It looks really good. It has plenty of flex to it. It's kind of hard to see, but trust me, there's a lot of flex here. I think that's going to work great for ball impact resistance. 
Now, before we get into testing this screen out, let's first go over a few important specs about the quality of the screen. So it is 4K capable. It also is capable of HDR, which is high dynamic range, color saturation, and contrast. It's also capable of 3D imagery as well. And it's also supposed to have a 180 degree wide viewing angle as well. Now this quality screen is available in other sizes, but the screen quality here is called Impact White 1145. It's a high quality honeycomb weave layer on top of a brush weave layer with a checkered pattern weave layer on the back. So it's supposed to resist golf impact speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. That inner layer is also referred to as an internal spacer, which suppresses and dampens the noise generated by the ball impact. As mentioned before, it has plenty of grommets and the grommets are spaced at roughly about a foot between each grommet. So having more grommets is only going to give you a better looking screen overall. So enough talk, let me get things set up and let's try hitting a few balls at the screen and see how it goes. Okay, we are finally done. We got the new screen hooked up and that is what it looks like. Now again, the screen size is 10 foot high by 13 foot wide. This is a little bit more of a premium screen. Now again, the light's gonna wash out because of my camera light here. But if you can see right here, it has a really nice woven fabric here that's really good for ball impact resistance but it's also very good for picking up high definition video quality. So for now, this is just the standard SkyTrack driving range. So we're gonna go ahead and hit a few balls and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and hit a few balls using the driver at the driving range, and let's test out and see how good the screen is. There's our first shot. About 224. Let's try it again. Felt pretty good. 240. Went off a little bit to the right. Sometimes I struggle with slicing it to the right or hooking it to the left. But again, that's just me needing more practice. Because again, when I had my golf simulator in my basement, I only had nine foot ceilings. So for the longest time, I had to constantly adjust my swing so that I wasn't hitting my club off the ceiling. But now that we moved the golf simulator to the garage, I don't have a height issue to worry about. Now I can actually get back to finding some consistency. Okay, so I just went ahead and set up the TGC 2019 program. We are at the new driving range. Let's try hitting a few more shots out on the screen and let's see how it goes. About 238 on the drive, fairly good swing. So as you can see, the screen quality is really good. I'm really happy with the actual clarity of the screen. I'm really happy with the bounce back of the material. So again, if your ball happens to be bouncing back more than you'd like, your screen might be a little bit too tight and you might have to remove a few bungees or make a few adjustments to loosen up the screen. So I might still have to make a few adjustments to mine, but it still plays pretty good. Okay. Not too bad. 159 yards on a five iron. Let's try that one more time. Okay. okay, so there's another hit with a 554 yards. A little bit of an out to end pass, but not too bad. Okay, so my overall thoughts on the Elite Screen 10 by 13 Premium Golf Impact Screen. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up and give it a go. I think it's a really nice high quality screen. It plays really well. The bounce back is just as expected with a premium screen. The grommets are good. The actual material itself, if you look close enough, is a really high quality three layer material. 
and the screen quality looks very good. Now, just in case some of you might be wondering, the projector that I'm using up here is an Optima GT 1090 high definition laser projector. It works great for me when it comes to a golf simulator because this is a short throw projector. Some of these screens actually work a little better with a standard projector and not a short throw projector. But as you can see here, I am using a short throw projector here and my projector is only about 10 feet away from the screen. So as you can see here, the screen quality still looks really good. So there you go, everybody. My final thoughts. The Elite Screens 10x13 Premium Golf Impact Screen is fantastic. I really like it. The quality is really good. The playability is very good. The sharpness of the picture on the screen is very good. But overall, I'm really happy with this screen and I'm really happy with this purchase. So if you happen to be looking for a higher quality golf impact screen for your golf simulator, you might wanna check out the Elite Screens Golf Impact Screens because they're a high quality screen and I definitely recommend them. So that's it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you happen to have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all. And as always, see you in the next video.